Hello out there in YouTube land. I went down and invested in one of these Blackstone Adventure Ready Griddles. Now this is a 28 inch griddle with folding legs and I thought this would be an asset to our arsenal here for our cooking channel. Now it's pretty easy to assemble. Just make sure you get a box that hasn't been ripped open or torn open as I did the first time. I was actually missing about four different things in the, the kit to put this together so I had to return it and get another one. Now at the filming of this video or time of filming of this video, I actually purchased this one for $197 uh, at Walmart. And uh, actually, uh, I'm a little amazed. It's uh, not real heavy, heavy duty. However, I believe it'll do the job I need it to do. I'm not doing any commercial cooking, more backyard cooking than anything. And the actual installation or build process or put together process was really pretty simple. Uh, the instructions were pretty good. Down at the bottom of it, all you had to do is snap the wheels in place and put those uh, screws in. It has knobs on them, lock those in place. And then that little bracket right there that holds the propane, same thing, it's got a knob on the screw. It goes in place. This was a little more temperamental. When you see this separate when you buy it and you have to install it, there's a screw up here and a screw over here at the top that you'll have to loosen because it's already going to be put in the frame to hold it together when they ship it. You'll have to loosen that and then the kit will come with some uh, extra screws. So you'll have two screws on this side and you'll have two screws on that side. Screwdriver is all it took to put it together. The knobs come, we just snap those in place, push them on, and they'll lock themselves in. The bottom pan down there, a tray, same thing. It uses the uh, the knobby screw on that end that the propane bottle uses. Now let's walk around the other side. You got this one here hold that in place. The legs do fold in to move it around which is a, a plus. The handle you'll have to install. It's got four screws, two and two, and those are easy to put in. Then your little catch tray on the back right here. Now you'll have to pull that griddle off of there to get this in or out. But that's what catches the grease. The griddle itself is pretty tough, pretty heavy. That's the heaviest part of the whole build. But all in all, guys, I believe it's going to be a pretty good little griddle for what I'm doing. If you want to see how it cooks, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We're going to be putting out many different videos. Fajitas, chicken, all kinds of beef, fish. We've already got some videos out there. But uh, we're going to see how this Blackstone griddle actually cooks now let's go back over here what is telling you breakfast lunch and dinner join the griddle nation compact secure legs holding store for easy travel well that's about it guys i believe this model if i'm not wrong let me look here real quick sorry to cut it short let's see what they say on the instructions here let me get the instructions over here. There we go. It's a model 1885 28-inch grill cooking station. One thing I do like about this is you can use a big propane bottle without having to buy a different hose like you see on some of the other Blackstone uh, models that has a has a actual little bitty bottle of propane attached to this end over here that won't last very long. I wanted to find something that I could use a big bottle on and not have to buy that hose which is another 30 or 40 dollars and uh, the 28 inch griddle the 1885 model has that so that's a little expense that I won't have to spend more in the future to be able to run that big bottle but yeah guys there it is there's your Blackstone 1885 griddle hit the like subscribe button down there to help us out You'd be surprised that once you do hit the like and subscribe, or subscribe, either one, 
like separate it helps this video get out there for other people to see it and uh, without your help this video will stay in limbo won't really go anywhere else, but we really do ask hit the subscribe subscribe button we need a lot of help out here on on that that end of it working with youtube they don't uh help us little channels out very much i missed this part in the video so i've decided to cut the video and take a shot of this and show it to you this is the inside underneath the griddle the plancha whatever you want to call it that's your burners and it does have a electric lighting here and here so you won't need anything to start the fire with now let me show you the bottom of the griddle the bottom of the griddle is well designed hopefully, hopefully we got enough light right here in this part of the shop to show it to you but it has four different little ears here one here one over here one over here and one over here now those just actually just uh drop down in the top table top of this griddle there's your hole here a hole here a hole here and a hole here so that thing is pretty easy there's no bolting down or anything easy to take off and wash clean but that's a big plus on it as well 